Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. This time I want to explain a, a common problem that we see on a lot of four-wheel drive vehicles and every once in a while even on a passenger car, but especially on Jeeps. And the problem is what's called a death wobble. And what this is, you're drawing down the highway, you're doing highway speed, you hit a bump, and all of a sudden the vehicle, the steering wheel, everything starts shaking violently to the point that it's difficult to even control it. And the only way to get rid of it is usually to pull off the side of the road, stop, and then re-accelerate. And it'll be fine until you hit the next big bump at speed. All right, now, what are some of the things you should look for? Well, you want to look at all of the different bushings and everything underneath. Like here, we have a worn out sway bar link bushing. We have a worn out sway bar frame bushing. We want to look at the bushings in the trailing arms, if the car is equipped with that. Uh, any one of these rubber bushings, any place in here, can allow movement so that when you hit a bump, the, the wheels start wobbling back and forth and they can't be controlled. Now, here we have a track bar. That, of course, wants to be checked. There's a rubber bushing over there in the other end. But the number one problem right here, this is a steering damper. It's like a shock absorber for the steering system, and it dampens out the sideways movements of the steering linkage. These things go bad, and when they do, doesn't make any difference how good or bad the rest of the system is, you will wind up with a death wobble. So you check that very carefully because that's the number one culprit right there. Of course, you could have bad shock absorbers as well, and you could have a situation where none of these bushings are really badly worn, but they all have a little bit of wear, and the cumulative effect of that is that there's enough free play in the entire suspension to cause the death wobble. Also, if you're gonna do it, you may wanna do something like this. This is a master kit. This kit, a uh, couple hundred bucks, a little over 200 with new shocks and everything. This is polyurethane and it tightens up the suspension and the steering, makes it feel a lot more modern. So polyurethane is a good way to go. Keep in mind though that putting some of these in can be a lot of labor. So in some cases you may find that it's cheaper to buy new replacement arms and things like that because the labor is so much less. But anyway, the problem can be solved, and in most cases, it's not a huge expense. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line right here at MotorWeek.